Now that you understand how a 406 megahertz beacon works, let's compare it to some of these other types of devices and their shortcomings when, it, when we talk about using them in a life-threatening situation. The most common safety signaling device that people carry are cell phones. They're, they throw them in as an afterthought. Everyone has one and, and why not? Unfortunately, they have a habit of being dead or the batteries are dead when you need them most or cell tower coverage is spotty in remote areas. Most people who call 911 are lost. They don't know where they are. That's why they're calling. The biggest problem with using a cell phone in that situation is they can't really tell search and rescue where they are. One of the biggest problems with a satellite phone is that you really want to use the darn thing. And in an emergency, the battery is probably going to be dead or too low to be effective. Another problem with satellite phones is poor satellite reception. You also have with satellite phones the same problem that you have with cell phones and that most people don't know where they are. And the final really biggest problem with relying upon a satellite phone is they're not ruggedized. They were never intended to be waterproof, or capable of withstanding the shock and the vibration that generally associates traumatic events. A GPS is a receiver. It tells you where you are. A 406 megahertz PLB is a transmitter. It tells search and rescue where you are. That's really the most pivotal difference. But it's also worth pointing out that GPS's sometimes are the reason people get into trouble. We rely on them too much. And they receive these signals which are transmitted from outer space um, at about the 1.6 gigahertz frequency at very low power levels. Um, and they don't work well under trees. The signals get absorbed by trees. They, they bounce off of, uh, of uh, buildings and other structures. And frequently, your GPS not being able to work accurately is the source of your emergency situation. The final category that I want to talk about are satellite messengers. And these are the subscription-based tracking and messaging devices that also have a 911 function. Unfortunately, they use the 1.6 gigahertz frequency, which is the same frequency used by GPS systems, and they have the same problem. 1.6 gigahertz will be absorbed by trees, it'll be absorbed by snow, uh, it has a problem getting through. Because these are approved to the same standard as a garage door opener, the FCC Part 15 rule, their power is limited to roughly 400 milliwatts. So you're talking about a low power transmitter with a frequency problem and there's a very significant chance that these devices will not be able to transmit out of a slot canyon or from a heavy tree canopy covered with snow. There's also no redundancy built into their system. This device either works or it doesn't work. If it can't acquire a GPS signal, then it's not going to transmit any position data whatsoever. They're also subscription-based. If you let your subscription lapse, the beacons will not work. Unlike the 406 megahertz system, which is backed by the world's government agencies and the search and rescue agencies, and there is no subscription fee. Satellite messengers are also commercially based. They are created by uh, satellite communication companies that are commercial companies. If they change their business model, if they decide to, to get out of the search and rescue business tomorrow, your device will not work. Compare this to a 406 megahertz beacon, which is backed by the COSPAS SARSAT system, and that's an internationally funded satellite system that's been around for over 20 years and will be around for many, many years to come. Finally, the satellite messenger devices that are on the market today were designed to run on common AA batteries. If you choose alkaline batteries, unfortunately, these devices probably won't work when you need them most. If you're looking to make a safety signaling purchase, you really need to figure out what you want to do. If you're looking for something that's a communication device, a cell phone is a great choice, a satellite phone is a great choice. If you want to track your position or if you want to send a message to someone, there are other devices that will do those types of things. But if you're looking for a device of last resort, 
For use when all other means of self-rescue have been exhausted, a 406 megahertz beacon is your best last chance.